Welcome. In this presentation, we will take a quick tour of Insight. I will not go into detail. There are other presentations that deal with downloading, installing, and using it, and about how to deal with specific ceramic glaze problems. What is Insight? It's an interactive classic ceramic chemistry calculator and a materials and recipe database system. This is the recipe window, the home page. You can compare and edit side-by-side -side recipes here. This side-by-side -side approach is fundamental to the relative rather than absolute approach we take to ceramic chemistry. You can edit individual recipe lines using these controls. The chemistry calculates here and other calculations are shown here. You can control the way calculations are done here and you can maintain de detailed information about individual, individual recipes in these tabs and you can save and search and open recipes using these. Anyone can create an account at Digital Fire and download Insight. It will run for two months before expiry. This is the OSX version. Insight is also available for Linux and of course Windows. Notice this one has the two-month evaluation message. Insight works the same on all platforms and can interchange all of its files, even the database file. We try to keep the user interface stable since it's very widely used and taught. Before proceeding, I'm going to open a recipe by clicking here. This is the recipe database dialog. It is a window into Insight's integrated super-fast database called SQLite from sqlite.org. I can do complex searches in the database using these controls. This button deletes a recipe. I can click the column headers to sort the list and I can adjust column widths. This checkbox transforms the dialog to show more detail in each recipe. You can even make some changes and save here. This dialog is resizable. I can grab an edge and make it larger. I'm going to switch back to normal view and make it taller now. This button is used to limit the list to only target recipes. Each recipe can be assigned more than one type code and entering one or more here limits the list to only those having that type code. To open a recipe, click a line and then click the Open button. And I'll do that now. Now I have it open in the recipe window. It displays in column 1 of the recipe list. Side-by-side -side recipes share one material label column, but each has its own amount column. You can select a recipe line by clicking it. You can move a line by dragging it. When you select a line, the Edit Recipe Line area receives focus automatically to enable editing of that line. This column displays line status characters that you will learn more about later. Now I'm going to double click the first line in this recipe. The Materials dialog will be positioned on this material. This is where you can customize Insight with information about your own materials. An interesting feature is this button. It opens the page at Digital Fire Online Reference Library about this material, if you have Level 2 Insight. This website is where we concentrate our material information efforts. Insight materials tables are also generated at the website. You can see the chemistry that Insight knows about this material here. And there are other controls and menu items in this dialog that we'll learn about later. Now I'll close it. The Edit Recipe Line area is where you do most of your work. Each line has a label, a materials lookup that Insight uses to find chemistry information, an amount, and a tolerance which is only used for entering target or limit formulas, and an added status checkbox. 
To save changes to a line, click the Update button. To quickly zero the amount on a line, click the Line Delete button. To increment or decrement the amount on a line, click these buttons. These checkboxes are used to tell Insight to ignore chemistry information for a line or not to include it in a retotal operation. This is the Supply dialog. It displays a dialog that enables you to supply an amount of material based on how much of an oxide you need from it. To enter a material into a recipe, select a line, which I've done, key enough of a material name so Insight can find its chemistry, and key its amount, and either click Update or press the Enter key. To search for a material, click a line, and then click the MDT button. MDT stands for Materials Definition Table, the Materials Database. This is the same dialog we saw when I double-clicked the recipe line. This dialog has controls to browse and search the list of materials here. If I click the Update Recipe Line button, the selected material will be assigned to the selected line in the recipe window. I'll close this dialog now. Back at the recipe window, these buttons perform the most common tasks. These open and close recipes. This one zeroes a line amount on the first click and then clears the material name on the second click if the other recipe does not have any of it. This one prints reports. This split button indicates when recipe 1 or 2 needs saving and initiates the save if clicked. These are read if the respective recipe is locked. This displays a dialog that enables you to copy, move, or add one recipe to the other. I'll click it to copy recipe 1 to recipe 2 now. This dialog pops up and I'll click the Copy Write button. Notice that Insight has copied recipe 1 to recipe 2. The formula list on the lower right is where Insight displays the side-by-side -side calculated formulas or analyses of the recipes above. There is a direct relationship between these numbers and the fired properties of the glaze. You can click any line to highlight it. This checkbox switches to three decimals of accuracy, and this one combines sodium and potassium totals. The status of these is remembered from session to session. This button selects the recipe material contributing the greatest amount of the oxide selected in the formula list. Double click a formula line to display the oxides dialog. This dialog manages oxide data and has more controls that shape the way calculations are done. The thermal expansion for this oxide is recorded here. You can insert delete and find individual oxides using these controls, but remember that an oxide is a column in the materials definition table. Deleting or changing one affects every material containing that oxide. These controls affect the results in ratio and unity calculations. An interesting feature is the info button. For level 2 users it opens up a page at the Digital Fire Reference Library where you can learn all about what this particular oxide does in fired glazes. I'll press the Done button now. Back at the recipe window, notice this button above the formula list. It opens the recipe database window where you can search for and select a target or limit formula for display as a third column in the formula list right beside the other two. I'm going to click it now.